Hello, how are you? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Eh, le quería decir que, bueno, ayer ya no, no me pude conectar porque sí, ya vine como a las 12 del, del seguro, entonces sí, ya no, no logré acceder a la clase. Ok, no problem. Espero que todo esté bien y pues, bienvenida. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. And uh, of course, as usual, we're gonna check about the class of today. This is it. And uh, this is the question in the platform for today. So, of course, um, we're going to check about the attendance for first of all, just a few today. I hope the rest of the people can come. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chévez. 
Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Ofelia Ores Jana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Here, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Yeah. Susan say the uh, how the platform and uh, him. Ah, okay. Okay. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, Susana, yeah, here is it. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today and uh, we're gonna check a few things before we move on. Okay, we're gonna start with a video today that is about careers in marketing. So today we're gonna to speak about job profiles for marketing. So as usual, we're going to see the video and then you're going to comment about it okay here we go careers in marketing where should you start what are the good jobs in the first place so i'm going to talk about that in this video when i think about it okay we have our marketing agency single brain so we get a lot of applicants coming in a lot of people asking me you know uh, can can we work together and i'm super grateful for that and i also look at my other friends companies too who are they hiring for exactly okay so i'm going to give you a couple of good job opportunities if you're looking to get started in marketing now what i recommend is if you have no marketing experience start out as an intern even work for free because that's exactly what i did i started out as an intern i went on craigslist looking for a job and i became an intern where I became a slave and I'm still friends with these guys by the way I became a slave and I made a site for them I, I was like a content intern okay so that's one of the internships you can do I did SEO work for them I made my own website I did it for three months or so and while I worked my full-time dead-end job so if you have a dead-end job look still intern for free be, be grateful that you can even find a free internship in the first place that's a great place to start in terms of getting an actual job here are the couple jobs I recommend if you are able to get a job in paid media or paid advertising which means you're running Facebook ads Google ads LinkedIn ads YouTube ads you are going to be able to find a job because a lot of people still need these types of people to run the optimizations for their ads. This is a really good way to get started and, and get your mind to be a little more analytical. It doesn't matter what major you are in college or it doesn't matter if you even went to college or not because we have people on our team that didn't even go to college that are doing a really good job for our clients. Check out our videos on this channel or check out the Marketing School podcast if you wanna learn more about uh, paid media or paid advertising. The second thing I'm gonna say is content, okay? So a content creator, it could be written content, it could be audio content, or it could be video content too. These are all important things because everyone's creating content now. Everyone's trying to become a media company and a lot of journalism majors, they're struggling to kind of find work right now. But in the marketing world, if you go go for like a tech company, for example, you should have no trouble finding a job if you're good at what you do. The third one is SEO. SEO, especially for large enterprises, you think about um, Nike, you think about Amazon, they all have a lot of traffic coming to their website and they need, they need to do a better job with their SEO. And there aren't a lot of SEOs these days, okay? But the SEOs that I know that are enterprise level, they are exceptional. They say amazing things, they know amazing things, they know the right people, and uh, that's super helpful. The fourth thing is, 
if you can become a marketing engineer, so not just a software engineer, but you're a software engineer that's focused around marketing, you're gonna do a really good job because there's a lot of these growth engineers uh, that, are, that are actually becoming a real role. And I remember when I was leading marketing at a technology startup, I campaigned for this role. I said, I need an engineer on my team, otherwise I'm not gonna be able to get things done. I need an engineer, I need a designer on my team, that way we're gonna fly, okay? So you have to have a growth engineer on your team and a growth designer. The careers that make the most money in marketing, think about this for a second. If you can rise the ranks, it doesn't matter. You start with any of these that I've just given you right now, you can rise to the ranks to become the chief marketing officer. Chief marketing officer makes a ton of money. Growth engineers make a lot of money. Great designers make a lot of money too. I'll say you are a little more limited around kind of paid advertising and uh, content creation if you're kind of you know doing the work. But if you become, you, you know, you grow into an executive level, you grow good, you, you become a good leader, you become a good manager, you are going to make exceptional money. What I'll say is this too. The really good marketers that are good at execution, they're gonna go off, they're gonna go do their own things because they know they have all the leverage in the world. They know they, they can create things from scratch and you are going to be able to make, we're talking you know, a, a good six figure amount, potentially even seven figures, okay? So that's the potential that you have. You might start lower first. You might start with an internship, you might make nothing. You might make 30 or $40,000 a year, but you're gonna grow, you're gonna get stronger and stronger and stronger. You're gonna level up, it's gonna be great. So you got the paid ads, you got the content, you got the SEO, you got the growth engineer, and you got the growth designer as well. These are all related to marketing, okay? And you can start anywhere. You can start a marketing school. And if you guys have thoughts, like let us know in the comments. What do you wanna do? Do you wanna do SEO? Do you wanna do content, right? Do you wanna do paid media? What is it exactly? Drop it in the comments and maybe we can share some resources with you. And with that being said, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, watch the next video. Good. What did you get with this lady Chinese that speaks very fast? Any opinion, any comments about marketeers and positions, job positions for them? Anybody? Okay, teacher. Um, for me, my opinion is in, in the career, the marketing is difficult because it has more, more, more person. Uh, for example, uh, anyone, uh, a creator, the, the website, or there is a, a control, the studies, um, a other, is the the content the the in the in the, in the webs uh, uh, or people the in or out uh, it's difficult because the goal goal is uh, is up in the website by in the marketing but it's difficult but, but competition is more Okay, very good. Yeah, actually, that is true. I mean, it's kind of difficult because there is a lot of competition and also you need to know a lot of a lot of things, right? So you need to know, I mean, if you are in the website designer, you need to know language coding and things. Like that. Very good. Very good, Nelson. Any other comments about the video? Okay, so I, we're going to uh, go ahead. Sorry, teacher. Good evening. I arrived late, but uh, at the end, I only listening and understand that he was talking about uh, the careers, yeah, marketing. It's, she, he mentioned the is, 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 mm -hmm. SEO, SEO, yes, SEO. No, CEO. no SEO, SEO. SEO. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, no SEO, SEO. <laughs> Uh, I understand that he mentioned something and just he said uh, there are amazing things and amazing people. I understand that. And at the end, he mentioned the, the careers that uh, pay more money. And he mentioned chief, uh, oh, chief man, manage, manage, management. 
Okay. Oh my God, I, I don't understand my little. <laughs> yeah. And he mentioned growth engineer. He mentioned that those are the careers and when you earn much money. Very good, perfect. Yes, actually he mentioned about that with the manager. Okay, of course they, they are the ones who get the more money and uh, the ones that are the leaders, right? Because they know many things and maybe they don't do exactly the things but they can tell you what to do, not to do, how you can improve things. So it's very interesting. Okay, so uh, since, since today we're gonna speak about job profiles about marketing. So we're gonna check about responsibilities of a digital marketeer. So we're gonna go one by one and we're going to discuss what you understand on this one. So for the first one, uh, Osmin, could you please read number one? Okay, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Responsibility of a digital market. Mm -hmm. Marker, marker. Marketeer. Marketeer, okay. Okay. I oversee, I oversee and the developing marketing campaigns. Campaigns, very good. What do you understand on this one? Or in, excuse me, teacher. I no, no understand. No, don't understand. Okay, no worries. We're gonna help you. Okay, so number yeah. one, it says overseeing and developing marketing uh, marketing campaigns. So overseeing is like when you will be uh, checking, when you are uh, analyzing, designing, and checking what to do, right? And then develop. So put in. Uh, in uh, operations, the campaign. So of course, that is the first thing. So they, you have to think about the need of the customer and uh, the target and many other things. So you can create, design a campaign. Okay, so that would be number one. Zulma, number two, please. Hello, Zulma. Hi, I'm here. Oh, okay. Uh, could you please read number two? Yes. Uh, conducting research and analyzing data to identify, identi identify and identify. define audience. What do you understand on this one? Uh, I think with the uh, data you can, uh, or or with your history you can uh, define the uh, target that you uh, or your objective for the strategy, the digital strategy. Perfect, that is it, perfect. So you need to analyze research and analyze data. So you can identify what is the target, what is the, the sector of the public that you want to, to reach. Of course, that is very, very important. Uh, Rose, number three. Device, devising, um, devising. Present, devising. I'm presenting ideas and strategies. Very good. What do you understand on this one? Mm, I was reading the meaning of devising. And okay. in this case, um, he has uh, the, the digital marketer how to invent and present ideas and strategies to the publicity. Very good. So, I mean, you need to be creative, right? You need to think out of the box. That's why they say. So uh, you can identify what will be uh, a good idea for this customer according to the target, right? According to the, the sector that you want to achieve. Yes, creative teacher and the, the professional most... Um, must have the good uh, 
the good skill relate, related to analy analysis, analyze. The, how the market wait. Maybe wait uh, about uh, may, the product. Uh -huh. I'm sorry. Maybe no, sorry. <laughs> maybe he 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 needs a, a storm of ideas. Much, brainstorming. Yeah. yeah, brainstorming. Sorry. Yeah. Maybe he he has to have <laughs> many uh, a good brainstorms to make it up. What am I going to do? <laughs> Definitely, that is actually what what I, I mean. Be a marketeer should be very stressful, right? I guess because I mean you need to think because there is a client that needs to reach people, and he, then uh, you have a target, right? Mm -hmm. And he, he needs to think to uh, how do you say <laughs> to that and the target in the in the blank. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it has to be. I mean, it's difficult because it has to be something very nice uh, and also something that we haven't seen, right? Because, I mean, nowadays you have seen a lot of campaigns, a lot of advertisement, a lot of ways for you to reach people and for you to be successful as we were talking yesterday, that yeah. when, when a campaign is very successful, even years after you remember, right? Yeah. So there are a lot of campaigns, a lot of advertisement, but you don't remember those. It's just one more. So it's that, that is average. But a good marketeer has to be very creative and comes with very good ideas, right? Good. Uh, Anna Salami, could you please read number four? She's grabbing some coffee, I guess. Okay, so um, Nelson, could you please read number four? No, no teacher. Teacher. Oh, yeah, teacher. Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Say bye for uh, number four. Okay, number four. Yes, please, Nelson. Updating a database and using a customer relationship management. management CRM system uh, where uh, any person or the people is uh, either know uh, uh, one software in the development in the in the in the company uh, is uh, direct uh, but at the client in the development uh, 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 or uh, check the the about or uh, or chair or oh, come chair yes um yes is a the person is the now the crm is it all software it is directly the decline okay perfect definitely that is it so updating uh, databases for first of all we need to check what is a customer relationship management so that is like a little software that allows people to to get data, to get data. So that is it. And it's, uh, I mean, one of the most common of this one is service, right? Whenever you have a service and you receive a survey and you can answer the survey and you can check if they are happy, satisfied or whatever. So updating those databases is very important. So you know exactly what the customer is thinking or if they like something. I mean, maybe you have seen that online there are so many service that ask if you want to participate and then uh, to provide feedback about a campaign or things like that. That is very good. Number five is for Carla Vasquez. Conducting promotional activities. What do you understand on that? Uh, I, I think that it's very important that all online business or e-commerce uh, have uh, activities, uh, uh, promotional activities because it's a uh, ways to uh, customer uh, show the interest in about the, their, their product. 
is a tool for increase the, the, the cells. Very good. Actually, you are so right. So promotions, I mean, the customers, we, we really like promotions, right? When they say that I'm, we are going to save money or something is for free, it's like, oh my goodness, amazing. Even if it's some, something simple like a, a cup, mug, or a sticker, right? Something simple is nice. But then the, the companies, they analyze. Like when you are going uh, on the supermarket, right? When you go to the supermarket, there are some uh, of those women that are offering you samples, right? I mean, some people are like, yes, I want to try. But some people are like, no, no, I don't want. Thank you. No, that's, that's not for me. So that happens for all the promotionals. I mean, even if it's a free cell phone, there are some people that might say, no, I don't want to participate. I don't care about your product. I don't, I don't it's like. It is very nice when you can see a pay one and get two. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, people, I believe everybody loves bargains, offering promotionals. Those are fantastic. Maybe what I do is what I think is this real a promotion because sometimes it's, it's like a trick. It's a marketing campaign. So they say two per one, but it's not, it's not a promotion. It's the same pricing. But then you believe that it's a good thing. The marketing campaign is very effective strategy for sale. Yeah, definitely. And also uh, for new companies that are launching new products, this is a very good, a very good thing that they do. So when they open, a new restaurant opens and they have some samples for you to taste the food and you like it, you tell everybody, right? It's like, oh, this new restaurant, the food is very good and, and the environment and the colors and I'm, I don't know. So it's, it's a very good strategy. It's one, maybe one of the best. Maybe the problem is that it's a little bit expensive, right? To give something for free, well, you have to have the budget, right? To, to do that one. But it's a very good thing. It's a very nice. I, I believe that everybody really loves uh, this kind of promotional activities. Nice. Number uh, six is going to be for Gloria. Okay. Uh, coordinating internal marketing and an organization culture. Organizations culture. Organization culture. What okay. do you understand on this? It's um, a determinate element that uh, um, favor re relationship between employees and uh, in their capacity uh, as internal customers. Hey, you mentioned something very important. Very good, Gloria. Nice. So, yes, this is, I believe, one of the most important things that a company can do. Coordinating internal marketing. I mean, the first, the first customers of the product should be the people in the company. The people in the company should believe that your product is amazing, is the best. So they need to try, they need to have an internal marketing ideas and, and promotion so everybody's happy and everybody says outside, you know, my company makes the best burritos in, in all El Salvador, I don't know, anything like that. So that is something very important because of that, because you, you need to, to believe on what you do and be proud of your company. And also an organization's culture what do you understand anybody as an organization's culture? Hi. Go ahead. I think, do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yes. I think is the, is when organization say all employees, what is the objective? 
doing, maybe. Very good. Yeah, objects are very part of any okay. cultures. I mean, okay. yeah. So everybody knows where we need to go. If we go together as a team, it's going to be easier to achieve any goal. Also, we can implement values, right? I believe that values are very important. Values in the company, within the company. So anybody that works here has to be like this and like this and like this. So both things are very important. They are very different, but also very important because you can coordinate internal marketing with ideas, with promotions within the people in the company, but also promoting organizations culture is, is harder. It's difficult because it has to come from the top and everybody has to replicate that one and believe in what they're doing. So definitely is something we must take into account. Okay, number seven, this is for Ada Patricia. Complaining and distributing financial and statistical information. Okay, what do you understand about this one, Ada? I think is the, the distribution information. Okay, very good. Uh, so a question for everybody. Do you know what is compiling? The first word, compiling, to compile, what is that? Recollect, teacher. Recollect, very good. So you are going to gather information, many kinds of information. And also it's a distributing financial and statistical information. Actually, this I believe is one of the most important things that any business, not only marketing, but any company has to do. Why do you believe it's important to, to tell everybody how is the company doing and uh, what, is, uh, what are the trends about sales, about distribution, anything? Why is that important? I think that it's important um, in my case when the when the owner of the company explain the position of the company we are here we are having uh, a good sales i think that in my case like an employee uh, they oh my god they transmit to the the employees uh, and a stale of uh, tran tran no, can I say tran tranquility is okay, teacher? Tranquility, yeah. Tranquility, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, for me, in, in that case, they transmit to the to the employees tranquility, and every employee works uh, better because they they mm -hmm. don't in, invent. Can I say invent or? Yeah. Imagine something, oh my God, the, the company is bad. He's going to the bankrupt and you don't work, uh, you doesn't work uh, in a good way, I think. Very good. Yeah, it's important because if you know the, the state of the company, you know what is going on, right? And also uh, Susan says something important. Whenever they uh, transmit and they share the objectives of the company, I mean, you know that as a team together, you can go there and that is a chain. I mean, everybody's related. And if one department, one people doesn't do what they have to do, everybody's going to suffer and the whole company is not going to be good and the company is going to be bad. And then the company is going to close and then you are not going to have a job. So many things can happen. Right? I remember, I remember a case in my personal life when I work when I was working in Trevisa, mm -hmm. Trevisa uh, had an uh, end of the company. The company was in the bankrupt. And when I say, I hear that, I hear that, I say, oh my God, what I, what, what I do because I change uh, from a good work. But I, I was good there. But when I, when I listened, I, I heard the, the bank is, is going to the bank. And I say, oh, my God, what, would I, what I do? And I, I, I was very 
um, very what? Very, uh, very bad yeah. <laughs> because I was thinking many things, but at the end, uh, it was everything was okay because I can return to my to my last job. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, mm -hmm. you were lucky. I mean, that is something that not it doesn't happen that that often, right? And uh, yeah, I believe also that I mean sometimes I believe the most of the people in El Salvador they go to our we go to our jobs and it's like oh my goodness I have to go and I have to do this and it's very tired and things like that. It's because part part of that one is because you don't feel that you are part of a company of everything and that your job is important and that if you make the part that you do uh, the company is going to achieve many things so it's like a, one thing that you do for you to get paid and that is a big problem and it's because of the culture of the organizations if the company changed that one if they make you feel that you are important and that you are a very important part of everything and that if everything is going well you are going to be also very well everything might be different okay number eight is going to be for wilfredo okay uh, writing writing and proofreading 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 proof reading. excuse me will you repeat proofreading proofreading i'm um, okay Creative copy. What do you understand on this one? Um, I guess it is when the company has to create, um, uh, for example, when they have to use that creativity to, to get a good, for example, uh, when the company wants to, to do, for example, uh, publicity. Mm -hmm. They have to, to make um, a good presentation or a good te te text okay. for, for the, uh, with the intention, uh, intention. Yeah, intention. The, um, I, I, let me, let me, let me order my idea, did you? Okay. For the, for the customer, get a good comprehension about the company want to offer. Very good. Yeah, actually that is it. I mean, you will be able to be creative. That's, that is it. About the company, what they need, uh, how they can uh, get into the, the people out and then uh, to provide good image and everybody knows your product. So that is very important, very, very important. Number nine, uh, that is going to be for Susan. Hello, Susan. Not possible. Okay, Pamela, number nine, is it possible for you? May may maintaining websites and looking at data analytics anal analytics analytics okay analytics. What do you understand on this one related to digital market here? Mm. Um, it's important to have a. Uh, over, always check about your websites and to make in order um, to no really don't know okay no problem so this one is kind of basic because it's about webs websites I mean you need to keep the website nice do you remember that we were talking like two weeks ago about that if the website they don't have good search engine or if they are very slow or if the pictures are not good or if the information is not relevant uh, or it's not easy to navigate or even the colors 
of the website uh, are not that good. So, I mean, people, they go to the website and they are not interested in purchasing and navigating in looking for products. So that is very important. And you need to not, also, not only keep the website working properly, but also change that one. Because as we have seen recently, that's something that also we were speaking about for many things. Uh, change, uh, everything has changed, right? And uh, the ways that publicity, the marketing is making right now is different. So you need to listen and check what everybody wants, uh, everybody wants to see so you can adapt yourself. And the website uh, in digital e-commerce is, uh, is the face of the business. So, and not only that one, looking at, at data analytics. So what is that one? Do you remember what is data analytics relating, related to websites? What is that? Anybody? Mm, maybe the related is if the if the website have a lot of visit in is or oh, the meaning is the consumer or customer are interested in the product or in the company but in the in that analytics that analytics um, can be uh, or can have the results about the the visualization of the website and can can demonstrate can show can show uh, this 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 uh, information uh, of the of the uh, of the website very good actually that is it uh, all the websites they you can record if you have a website you can record how many clicks you have what time you receive more clicks what is the product that have more clicks how many products are added to the cart purchase of course or abandoned into the cart or how maybe many teacher uh -huh. or maybe uh, uh, through the data analytics um, get new trends uh, related to the, the, the chain of the, if you say test, the test of the customer okay. or, or chain of the, the expectative expectat related to the expectation related, related to the, the product because the information is key. Definitely. Information mm -hmm. is power, right? Yes, and power. also if you analyze that one and you take the correct decisions based on very good data analytics, I mean, the website is going to be very easy to use. Very, It's going to be a success. And of course, you are going to sell more products. So to keep your website running very well and to analyze data from the website is key for any company that is making business online, definitely. Okay, uh, number 10 is for Wendy. Responsibility. Responsibilities of digital market. Uh, number 10, please. No, I'm sorry, teacher. Uh, organizing events and product exhibition. What do you understand on this one regarding digital marketing? Uh, well, it's in charge to uh, prepare the events or or activities uh, in relation to 
exhibition or demonstration of the products or, or service. Okay. Yeah, definitely. That is something that I believe is very important. I mean, it's very good. It's a very good strategy that you can use or any company can do. Uh, have you ever, everybody, have you ever gone to a product exhibition, anything like that? Have you ever had that experience? Yes, teacher. In uh, after to uh, the Hospital El Salvador uh, in in Cifco, mm -hmm. they uh, hear uh, what? No? Uh -huh. Vieron uh, exhibition, for example, la feria uh, colombiana. Okay. Uh, uh, in this in this uh, place, you can uh, see much products uh, in a specific the Colombia. Okay, and how was the experience for you? Did you like it? What do you think? Yes, I like it because normally you can't uh, uh, buy this product uh, in. In El Salvador, and you you can see the new products or or strategies uh, the other places or the other countries. Very good. Did you purchase anything? Yes, <laughs> I remember <laughs> that uh, I I buy the chaka chaka. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Is the it, you can, uh, I don't know how to say, cut, cut uh, the vegetable and you uh, stay, no. Uh, is, I don't remember that is the correct say, uh, metilla el vegetal. You put the vegetable inside. You put the vegetable, uh, yes, and you, you, uh, Taparlo? No. A uh, cover. Uh, yes, and you you push, and <laughs> the finally product is a, uh, it is saying a chirmol. Oh, really? You, yeah. <laughs> okay. in, in, in this in this name is chaka chaka. <laughs> chaka. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and but it, it is very no not expensive. No, I remember that. Uh, Two dollar maybe. Are uh, really two dollars? That's yes. nice. Yes. <laughs> so we can say that that exhibition was successful because people they were buying things, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> two dollar, three dollar. In the final, you 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 don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> and they are happy. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we say we are going to just to, to see, right? We are going to just just to shop around, but it's not true. We at the end we we buy things. <laughs> yeah, the same, the dollar city. <laughs> yeah, the same, yeah, <laughs> totally the same. And you know, it's very interesting that I mean, uh, part of digital marketing is also that one, the way that you name the products, right? Because when you say chaka chaka, I was laughing. I believe everybody's like, what is that thing, right? <laughs> and then the attracts only the name yes. attracts you. Uh -huh. Very attractive for your eyes and you do you, you interesting in the product for name for uh big I, I I think is for I think is the objective the the exhibition no? is definitely the yeah mm -hmm. that is a, a marketing strategy I mean it's for you to attract to come and see and of course to buy, right? It is the same the Comic Con, maybe it is the same because you you can see a cosplay and you can buy a product or or our figuritas. Uh, figures, action figures. Yes, uh -huh. it's very expensive. Very expensive. I love to go to Comic Con, let me tell you. And Yes, you always buy something because there are too many good things. Well, the good for the people that are fans, right? T-shirt, t-shirt. <laughs> yes, you can uh, buy uh, t 
clothes and accessories and I don't know. Yeah, actually, yeah. And those are very good examples of exhibitions. Exhibitions that are successful, right? And people, they go and sell a lot of products and uh, consumers that are very happy because they purchase many things. Uh, at the end, maybe you are not going to use those things, but everybody's happy, so nice. And the other objective of the exhibition teacher is to do the networks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely, because you are going to say that one, right? I mean, now that, for example, when they told me about Chaka Chaka, maybe I'm going to research and check. And the next time that there is a, a Colombian ferry, maybe I'm going to go and look for the Chaka Chaka, right? So that is that is something that is very important, very important. Interesting marketing, right? Of course. So the number uh, 11 is it, right? Yeah, 11. That is going to be for Jasmine. Monitoring performance, right? Yeah, you're ready already. So what do you understand on that one? In this one, I understand that when the website is created, the marketing try to verify what is working and what they need to improve and get more so. That is why I understand in monitoring performance. Very good, perfect. So yeah, you need to monitor actually everything, right? For example, how do you believe that uh, marketing department, uh, how they monitor, how they measure if a campaign was successful? What do you think, anybody? How do they do that one, I mean? How do I know that a, a, a campaign was successful, an advertisement, a TV advertisement? In, in, in many situations, uh, I mean, I think that the company measure the, the campaign was an exit uh, because the the program or the launch of product um, was uh, was a very was very uh, sell um, and for example in in some or in many, in many campaigns the company a create a slogan and the slogan memorize the customer very fast uh, for me is a, a, a successful for the company because uh, because have uh, have look uh, have reached the have reached uh, the the goals with the campaign uh, in the campaign uh, have reached uh, an impact in the in the mind of the customer and um, and also in uh, the company measure the the successful when the website for example fan page or a uh, tiktoks or or videos uh, uh, have have been a um, very vis visualizados visualized visualized uh, uh, visualized for the customer and uh, have a lot of clicks in the in the publicity. Very good. Actually, you touched at the end something that is very important nowadays with digital marketing is easier to monitor, right? Because uh, I mean, you, for example, in YouTube, uh, you can take the statistics on how many people have seen your video, how many clicks you have, how many likes, uh, 
And that happens with any anything that is online. A website, you can, you can analyze uh, how many clicks you have in uh, Instagram, in uh, Twitter, everything. I mean, some, some things they get viral. And then, I mean, lots of people is like retweeting or republishing things in Facebook and things like that. So with the digital marketing, it's a little bit easier to monitor. Of course, that happened before in different ways. Like for example, with the TV, with the audience, right? When a lot of people were watching this one, uh, this show, uh, and then they know that it's successful. So very interesting. Okay, the last one, number 12, uh, is going to be for, let's see, Sandra Romero. Manag managing campaigns on social media. What do you understand on this? Mm, maybe to create uh, campaigns on social media, maybe like promotions through apps, something like on Facebook or, or, or Instagram, like uh, commercials, um, like publicity. That is it, perfect. Actually, I, I don't know if you have seen that on Facebook and many other social media, but sometimes there are companies that are looking for people to manage the social media uh, campaigns or websites or Facebook or Instagram. So people that they are um, intuitive and they publish things that are nice. Uh, so they attract people to, to that kind of product or service. So it's very common to have something like that nowadays. Good. What do you believe is the most difficult part of being a marketeer? What do you think is the most difficult of becoming a marketeer, somebody that creates marketing campaigns? Maybe get, get it, getting inside the mind of the consumer, yeah. knowing, knowing their likes and dislikes. <laughs> yeah, because if, if they, if the target is for mine, because many, many, many times we see something and we say, oh, that's nice and make an impact. And we have uh, this desire to obtain something. I think that is the most difficult, getting, the, getting, getting inside the mind. Okay, yeah, I believe that is very difficult too. Yes, teacher. El, the when the professional have the certain that the campaign is a hit, it's a hit in the market. In my opinion, this is the difficult because I agree with Rosita that how is possible that you know uh, how the other uh, people think or want or believe want, <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah, it's very difficult to understand people, right? I mean, if you analyze uh, likes and many other things, maybe you understand some things, but it's not the same. Probably that's, uh, that is one of the problems that we're having right now. Uh, we were discussing yesterday that now the advertisement, the campaigns are not that good but maybe because they just base everything into data, right? I mean, data is important and you can make decisions, but also you have to go beyond that one. You have to try to make, feel the, the customer happy or worried about something so they can purchase your product, so. For example, when Pexi makes the commercial with the soccer players, Messi appears and you say, oh, I want a Pepsi because Messi like it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it makes, uh, the, it, it puts a, um, um, a, 
it puts something inside you and you say i want it yeah yeah that is true i mean sometimes if they are very smart they get to the people right they if they are creative they they do things very very nice and uh, yeah, i remember also I, I don't know if we discussed about that one before but there was uh, in the 80s pepsi and coca-cola they had a, a war in marketing do you remember that one or have you seen that one or read about that one so that uh, both they have a nice commercial and the other commercial and in the us it is is permitted so they can mention yeah. the the, the, name. the name of the other company and say we are better than you so it was it was very interesting. Then YouTube, if you have the, the time, you can see a documentary about the soda wars, the, the cola wars is the name of that one, made by History Channel, very nice, very nice. And of course, there was a winner. Uh, I believe that you, I discussed about that one before. So there was a winner between Pepsi and Coca-Cola. You don't think in, in, this, in this case, I think the, the culture organization is very important because if you want really, really know what is he want. That is true. So, and they come with very nice idea. I don't know. Being creative, I believe is, is difficult there. Uh, I mean, maybe you have two or three good, good ideas, but being creative every day for different products and you need to have a very good uh, culture within the organization so everybody believes and goes be path beyond right so they can check into that good okay we're going to uh check the attendance because it's nine or three let's see uh ada patricia linares galdames present good. adriana stephanie martinez flores present, present. good <laughs> ana salmi chavez Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solorzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posa de Reina. Good evening, present. Good. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Mendez Ramirez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Perfect. So we are going to continue today. We're speaking about marketing jobs. So uh, let's uh, speak a little bit more in general. Okay. Uh, what is a job profile? Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. How do you say creativo, creative? Being creative. Be creative. Okay, very good. So in general. Hi, 
height. Height, yeah. <laughs> yeah. A lot, yeah. A job, a job profile, you say. A job profile. What is a job profile? A job profile is when you are looking for some someone that have the, oh my God, the, the skills to do something, the experience, um, and what else? The personality. <laughs> you, look for, you look for a good profile. Good. The specific characteristic that you need to de develop develop a, a, a job. Very good. So many good things you said. So skills, talents, values, abilities, uh, willing to do something. Characteristics uh, that you look in a, in a person that is going to the, be in a position, right? Helping other people and making some, so many tasks, procedures, processes, and things. Including teacher, including the, the specific credentials too. That is very important as well. I mean, the studies that you have, right? So things like that. Uh, all the experience as well that you have in different things. So that is also very important. Good, good. Okay, why I'm asking you about that one? Because we're going to do a little exercise today. Um, this is a speaking exercise, the one that we're gonna do. It's in general, okay? First, we're going to watch a video about tips on how to manage an interview, a job interview for any position. And then we're going to do job interviews right here, okay? Uh, I know that some of you, you want to maybe apply to other positions in the future or to go to other countries or do many things. So just in case that is useful for you, we're going to do some job interviews here and let's see how it goes, okay? Of course, it's going to be very general. I know that you have different special uh, specializations in different careers, but I mean, it's a good idea to practice that, but in English, of course. So the first thing, as I was telling you, we are going to watch a video about uh, job interviews, just uh, for you to, to have a, a back a back end on that one. And then we're gonna check into, into the practice. Here we go. Uh, well, of course, we're going to provide comments, opinions about the video whenever we finish. Here we go. In order to prepare for an interview, it's important to research in three areas. First area that you want to research is you. You want to research yourself, basically a summary of your qualifications, your relevant qualifications. You want to ask yourself how you can meet the employer's needs, what you bring to the table, and how you can add value. Then you also want to make sure that you research the position. You want to have a clear understanding of what an XYZ does. Okay. Again, meeting the needs of the position. You also want to research the employer. So they might say, why do you want to work for us? What do you know about us? So who's the CEO, history, product, services, competitors, etc. And then finally, I would say that you want to research the industry as well. So you, the position, the organization, and the industry. You want to make sure that you've prepared a series of short, relevant stories okay, about yourself. It's something called the show and tell method. So you don't just want to say, like, these are my skills. You want to be able to demonstrate, to have short, relevant stories that have a beginning, a middle, and an end. I would recommend that you practice. At the very least, lock yourself in a room with a mirror and practice uh, responses to commonly asked questions. You don't want to script it. You're not an actress. You want it to be conversational, but you want to hear yourself uh, say these responses out loud. And if possible, I would recommend that you set up a mock interview with a professional career counselor. You want to make sure that you arrive on time. I generally say arrive 30 minutes in the vicinity, but about 10 to 15 minutes to announce yourself in the reception area. Then once you meet, your interviewer, first impressions matter. And studies say it takes about seven seconds. Um, a prospective employer is immediately sizing you up. He or she is deciding, do they like you? 
Are you intelligent? Are you kind? Okay. Um, you want to have good eye contact. You want to have a nice, strong handshake. And you basically want to be positive, confident, and upbeat. So watch your energy level. You want to be authentic and genuine, but most people need to turn up the volume slightly. There are basically three types of interviews. Um, some common interviews are now behavioral interviews. They begin with questions like, tell me about a time when. Tell me about a time when you were in a team and things went really well or things didn't go so well. You might have a technical interview. This might be perhaps you're going for a software engineering position. You might walk into the interview and they say, don't sit down, and they direct you to a whiteboard, give you a marker, and they want you to solve some algorithms. Perhaps you will have a case interview if you're interviewing with consulting firms, so you want to be well prepared for those in terms of practicing case questions. Telephone and Skype interviews are becoming more and more common, particularly for initial interviews. With a telephone interview, if you can get a landline, that's best. If not, make sure everything is charged up. You also want to make sure that you're in a quiet environment and that no one is going to disturb you. So the advantage is you don't have to worry about what you're wearing or what you look like. And you can have lots of notes, but you want to be organized. You want to make sure that you pace yourself, the tone, your articulation, that the energy comes forth within the telephone call. With a Skype interview, again, you want to test your equipment, make sure everything is working properly. You need to think about what you're wearing because you're going to be on camera, have something colorful, <laughs> watch the whites, the blacks, the patterns, etc. Um, watch the lighting in terms of like uh, fluorescent lighting with a Skype interview. And even though it, it might be your natural inclination to look at the screen, it's important to look at the camera. That's how you'll be making eye contact. And then finally with a Skype interview, I would watch your background. Be very much aware of your background. So at the end of the interview, I would recommend that you establish next steps. Some employers will tell you what the next steps are, but if they don't, it's perfectly fine to ask what are the next steps. I would also recommend that you have a closing statement at the end of the interview to let the interviewer know that you're very interested in the position and why you would be a great fit and match. Then in terms of once the interview is over, of course you want to send some type of Thank you. It, it's probably going to be an email, but depending upon your audience, could be a short thank you note. In your thank you, you want to make sure, of course, that you thank the interviewer for their time, but also it's an opportunity to reiterate your interest and your qualifications. And I recommend that you send the thank you within 24 to 48 hours. Okay, what did you understand on this one? What are your opinions about this one? I think she gave many tips we can use for, for an interview. And the importance when, when the people see you, when the people hurt you, when it's the phone, and, and, the, and when, when make like, like Zoom, for example, Teams, when it's virtual. Um, okay. I, I, I really like it. I really like uh, his tips. Okay, nice. I think, I think you, can, you can use all day when you're talking to someone. That is very true. I mean, I, I guess that's what I was looking. You know, I, I watched like 30 videos speaking about job interviews, but some of those were not that good. And this was kind of nice. It was short. It was, it was the tips were very good. So I, I believe they are good. I believe that in Spanish, you do a very good job. But when you go, for first of all, when you go to an interview, you are always nervous, right? That is normal. Everybody's nervous because you, you want the job, right? And you don't know what is going to happen and things like that. And even if, when it's in English, and if it's your first experience in a job interview in English, it's a little bit more difficult because you say, I don't know if I'm going to understand the question, if I'm going to be clear, if my pronunciation. So there are other levels of stress. Uh, so that's why we're going to practice here, just in case in the future you have the chance. Any other comment about the video? 
that is very important teacher, the previous preparation about the interview and the, the importance of the good first impression. And, and now, for example, for the pandemic situation, it is common to do interviews through the, the flat, flat platforms, the, now the uh, Google Meet, Zoom, uh, Teams, and it's very important to open the, the camera because it's no good impression when the people don't want to, to put the, the camera because it's, why? I, I am shy, no? It's, oh, my camera is, is... It's not working. It's not working, it's not working, <laughs> but it's not good because the, how the people, you know, his or her, uh, what do you say? Behavior? Behavior, huh? Behavior is very important to, or, or how do you transmit the trust? Trust. Yeah. It's very important in the, it, but the, the tips or the, the, what do you say? Yes, tips. Yeah. Very, very good. I like it. The, okay. The video teacher. Nice, good, perfect. And you are right. I mean, it's, I mean, people in an interview, they want to check the answers that you are going to provide, but also the behavior, right? The kind of people that you are. So that is, is very important. Any other comment, any other opinion about the video? He mentioned many, uh, many things that are important. And we, we need to, we make, we need to make short stories about ourselves. No, a long story is going to be boring. <laughs> she said that we have to make short stories about ourselves or the skills. And she mentioned, uh, make a good impression. The first impression is the key. Uh, we have to, we have to, we have to do a good uh, handshake, a strong handshake. Yeah, she mentioned you need to when you are in the, in person to person. But also in, nowadays, uh, in a telephone or or an in Skype uh, interview. Uh, you have we have to we have to we have to my god and uh, we have to uh we are, the the clothes that we are wearing are important yeah that's it's a good impression or tone in our voice or security or articulation all things that are good uh, for or um for what um oh my god i can all the things are good for for us because we we make a good impression yeah that is true i mean uh, maybe uh, we might believe that it's more important the skills and are more important the skills and talent but of course the impression is fine i mean uh even if you have all the skills, if the people at the beginning, you, you, you didn't like them, you're not gonna get the job. I mean, if you do something that is not good, not correct, uh, even before you speak, they know that you are not going to be hired. Or also the she, opposite. Also, she mentioned the background. If you are in a Skype or a Zoom meeting, the Skype, the background is, is very important because it's it still something about about us that is true so uh, we need to be careful about details right details be sure confident and then uh, 
provide the answers that they're asking your experience. I mean, if you go to a job, it's a job interview is because you believe that you will be good for that job, right? It's not that you're going to go to a job that you can't do. So you need to show that one, that you are good for that one. That is it. Any other comments or opinion about the video? No more. Okay, let's practice. Let's see if that works. Okay, so we're going to do little job interviews about a conversation, you know, that last, like the usuals that we do, but it's going to be like uh, getting to know you something or anything like that. So the question is, who's going to be the first one? Any volunteer? Let's do it, teacher. Very good. That's the attitude. Nice. Okay, let's start. Okay. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Could you please tell me your name? I'm okay. My name is Wilfredo Guardado. Perfect. Thank you, Wilfredo, for coming for the interview. Um, so tell me a little bit more about yourself. I'm okay. I can I can say you that I'm a person that my my first characteristic is that responsibility in my job and practices some values um, and many things and in into and, and out the company very good that sounds interesting uh, what about your job experience what job experiences do you have i'm okay i have uh, i have some experience about about training about training people to sew and then i have some a little experience too and um, teaching math and giving giving support about about procedures and different um, for example in logistic um I know too about production, packaging, and for example, in the university, I was working some time, uh, some hours uh, teaching math, and let me see another um, giving giving some lesson about about how we can make to to measure, for example, uh, time in procedures. Very good, sounds interesting. So it seems that you are very good with numbers. So do you consider yourself a, a very analytic person? Of course, yes I am, yes I do. Very good. What about uh, Excel? Can you use Excel uh, sheets? Can you do macros or can you do uh, things like that? Um, let, me, let me see about Excel, yes. I can use the necessary for work and some procedures. Very good, perfect. And if we decide to hire you, how soon would you be able to come to the company? Uh, excuse me, would you repeat the question? Of course. If we decide to, to hire you, how soon yes. would you be able to come to the company? Um, okay, uh, I guess that and for example, in, in your company, I, I could be, could be helped you, for example, uh, making some analyzing uh, procedures and, and giving, and I can give you some, um, my, how do you say, Fuerza Laboral? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I forgot, I, I, I'm in an interview. Okay, but Perfect. I can help you, uh, for example, to uh, creating some procedure to do uh, that um, more quickly the old procedures. Okay, perfect. So very, very well. Thank you for coming for the interview, and of course we will let you know. Okay, I am going to waiting for you answer about my interview. Of course, we are going to get in touch with you. Okay, have a nice day. Sorry, how did you feel, Will Fail? Huh? It is interesting. 
I, I was <laughs> I was checking the video and I I could I could see I could see an interesting interesting practice for example you have, it is it is a good idea to practice from to the mirror I guess and then I I remember teacher that when six um, eight years ago I have an interview but in Unicaes when I'm going to finish my when I was finishing my my career then uh, I I remember that that I I got an interview with the teacher to finish my my English level, but I I felt so so nervous because I I uh, that that result was very terrible. I just started from that level too. Okay, <laughs> but it was interesting. Teacher, I yeah. like I like his tone tone of the voice of of me because he, he was clear and how you say, show, show security. He was confident. Answer. Yes, confident in his security. Congratulations. Yeah, good. I, in, in my opinion, you are high. <laughs> <laughs> very good so she's the boss you know <laughs> okay so very good very good it was very good experience uh, just one thing the last question i guess you misunderstood because i was asking you how soon will you be coming to the company if you are hired so but it was good i mean because you were speaking about the way that you could help the company so that was a very good thing okay i waiting for you for your uh, llamada, call. Who you call? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Nice. Good practice. So now, uh, in this at this time, I would like to work only with volunteers. Just to, I want to see if you want to participate. Okay. So, who wants to be the next for a job interview? It's a very good experience, and maybe we are not going to repeat this. So this is your chance. I would like to interview Carla. So you would like to interview Carla? Yeah. So you want to do the questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Let's <laughs> see how it goes. Okay, let's see, let's see. Carla, are you there? Okay, okay. okay. You are my victim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carla, welcome to the company. Um, can you tell me something about you? Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, I I am uh, I I am uh, I don't prepare for this. <laughs> this question. Don't worry. This is just for English practice. So don't worry. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I like I like cooking my house. Uh, for me, is is a, a hobby to cook. Uh, I like prepare the dinner or lunch uh, because in the breakfast is is very complicated for the time. But 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 I love it to the the, the okay, cooking. Okay, but. But here we are in a company. You're not going to cook at the company. Tell me about your I'm experience. I'm sorry, but, but I, yes. don't, I don't prepare tell me for, your, tell, for your question. Tell, tell me about your experience working. <laughs> <laughs> tell me about your skills. Let me see. Doing the things that you do. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I, I have an experience in administrative area I have a con knowledge at accountability and a financial areas and I have 15 years uh, of experience in the street areas all time I work at financial and accountability department. Okay, sounds nice. And 
What value can you add to the company? What? What value can you add to the company? What I don't understand. What value? What what else can you do for oh, the company? Okay, and I I value that that is establishing the company because I have um uh in, in the actual company uh, we have a uh, a tree, a tree values, and is a professionalist encouraged and in, uh, in, in a why I, I I I don't remember the the, the last <laughs> okay. value. Okay, don't worry. Um, why do you want to work for us? Why do you want to why do you want to work for a company? Why? Why do you, why did you decide being here at this interview? Oh I, I don't understand your 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 question. Okay, why? Why? Why do you want to work ah. in a company? Why? Uh -huh. Yeah, why? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Obviously, because I need the I need the work. I need a take a payment monthly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Hmm. We are going to check our good or CV, and <laughs> we are going to make a decision in the next days. We will okay. call you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Good. How did you feel, Carla? How did you feel about this experience? I feel I uh, don't can I don't receive this this opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's like that, but just remember that it's just a practice, right? It's just like I play a game that we're playing right now. So okay, I I it's very complicated because. I don't have an interview 15 years ago was my last uh, last interview of work. Hey, my. That is interesting. Yeah. You, need, you need to practice. Yeah. And I don't I don't have practice. <laughs> and how did you feel, Rose, about asking the questions? That was oh the other God. side. Mm, that was nice. It was nice. Yes, I remember in two thousand fifteen. No, yeah, in two thousand fifteen, I have a, I have an interview in a call center because I was employed, and I I was to a call center. They interviewed me in English, of course, but at the end they told me, oh, okay, your English is good, but you need to you need more. And you be, your English have to be more flu, fluid, fluent. Flu, yeah, fluent. And I say, okay, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good, it's good. This is a very good experience and so we can take yes. advantage of it. Good. Yes. Thank you, Rose. Uh, anybody else wants to be interviewed? Next person, volunteer. If there are no volunteers, of course, I'm going to ask people that. <laughs> me teacher okay i have like one year without an interview because then for that i have a job but go ahead yeah you try. know it's, it's just a practice because sometimes it's a good idea and since this is going to be in english it's going to be an english practice of course so okay uh, hello hello how are you i'm very well what about you I am very fine, very happy to be with you this day. Very nice, welcome. And tell me your name, please. My name is Jasmine Lopez, and I prefer Jasmine. Perfect, Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine, and uh, tell me about yourself. Tell me about your uh, work experience. About myself, I can say that I am a very proactive person. I like to do or take action before someone else tell me because I 
like to do my work as I have to do it because I love to organize my time, even on my home or in my work, because when I optimize the time, I can do the better quality for my job that I have to do. Very good, interesting. And uh, what about teamwork? Do you like to work in team? Of course, I like it because you can have a better experience and the job feel better when you have a coworker because you can share ideas, you can help each other because we are humans and sometimes we don't remember very well a process. But if you have a partner, you can ask him or you can ask your partners and get a solution for resolving the issue. Very good, interesting. And tell me about a time when you had any difficulty with a coworker and what happened, or what did you do? I remember once that I was in a team and as a normal day, we were working, but someone of them had an issue with a customer. And I realized that he made an agent error. So I have to ask him and we have to resolve that issue. It was not easy because he was my coworker and I have to do that action that obviously anyone liked it, but it's my job. I have to ask him, hey, did you do this change without any documentation? Do you know what this means? We clarify the information and I have to do the right process. That was a little difficult because it was my friend, but it's my job too. And I have to um, indicate the policy of any reservation or any process. Perfect, thank you. And uh, what, what would you do if you see something that is happening that is uh, not let's say not normal, that somebody's doing something that is not correct. Uh, what would you do, even if it's not from your department or anything like that? What would you do in, in that situation? At the beginning, I start to suspicious, right? And when I have the suspicious, I try to inform that situation to my immediately boss or my immediately support because if that person is doing something wrong, that means that all the work that we were doing together in different departments, we can get an issue so big that can make loss our jobs. And that happened, but people not take attention on that. I remember some notice before that for one person, a lot of people can lose their work because the company can until broke or lost their credibility for take information because a company normal has business and that business take personal information and the people think that as company is not credibility, maybe the company can broke. So I have to import that information in order to avoid a bad situation to the company, because if the company has a bad situation, I will be into two. Okay, very good. And what about your schedule? Are you willing to, to come to work on Saturdays? Yes, actually I like to work on Saturdays or anytime because different day has a different dynamic not all the days are the same. And Saturday is like a normal day, a little relaxed than other days as Monday. Okay, very good. Thank you for your answers. Of course, we will let you know. Okay, thank you so much. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. Very good, Jasmine. How did you feel? What was the experience like? Mm, I feel at the beginning because I remember that when I was trying to get a new job because when the pandemic started, I had to leave the job because I was not earning so much as I, want, as I wanted. And also I lose my 
a scholarship on the university that they give me money just for studying and have my good grades. So I say, no, I have to get that work that give me more money. And I try like in 14 places and just one say me yes. And I say, there is. <laughs> okay. So I feel like in that time, it was not easy, but it was interesting too. Very good, very good. The good thing is that he is like more relaxed, right? But yeah, it was a very good uh, uh, interview. I mean, your answers were very, very nice. And also I really like the intonation that you give. I mean, it, it gives a confidence as well. So it was, it was very good. I really liked it. Thank you. Perfect, Jasmine. Thank you. Any other person wants to come to the interview? The payment is $2,000. All the benefits. You can drink as many soda as you want. Anybody? Okay, so if there is no anybody else, I'm going to choose. Remember that it's just a practice, right? It's an English practice only. So that is it. Uh, let's see, uh -huh. uh -oh. Ada Patricia. Good evening. Hello, okay, vamos a empezar. We're gonna start and uh, remember that this is just like a regular interview. Hello. Hello. How are you? Fine. Well, welcome to the interview and uh, could you please tell me your name? My name is Ada Patricia Linares. Very good, thank you. and. Uh, let me uh, ask you, uh, tell me a little bit more about yourself. What is your experience? My experience is, is um, typing data, data information. Okay, very good. And why, why did you apply for this position? Excuse me? Yeah, why did you apply for this job position? Why? Uh, I don't know, no, no, I don't know, no, 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 understand the question. Okay, let's move on. Um, tell me, good things about you, what are very nice things about you, like um, the best things that you can tell me about yourself? What would you say if you sell yourself? Um, my, my, excuse me, how, how many? I'm sorry? How many? Cuanto? Uh, well, the question was, tell me uh, mm -hmm. the things, good things about you, about anything that you do, values or anything like that. Um, um, uh, teacher, no. No. Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. That is fine. Uh, maybe we need to practice a little bit more, but it was good. I mean, I, I know that in an interview, sometimes there are some questions that we might not understand, but that is fine. Thank you. Okay. Let's see who else is. Susana. Hello. Hello. So let's practice the job interview. Okay. Okay. Good. So, hello. Hello. Thank you for coming to the interview. May I know your name? I'm Susana Hernandez. Thank you, Susana. And tell me, where do you live? I live in Delgado City. Okay. And are you willing to come to this job uh, every day at very early in the morning? Is, is, how is your schedule like for the job? Well, I... I understand the question. Repeat again, please. 
Yeah, how is your schedule for you to come to work? Okay. Your okay, availability. I, I start, I, I call my house um, six thirty because it's, um, I have a many traffic for here. I am, bueno, actually I am start at 8 a.m. Okay, and what is a, a is a defect that you have? Defect I have a defect that you can tell me about. I think I think I am a very I I feel the processor. I'm sorry, could you please repeat? The process, because I am work in, um, in a place, have a certification. I, I, this is my problem with sometimes um, question. So sometimes you ask about your skills and things like that, or, or what you need to do about uh, the people don't 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 feel the steps mm, okay. relation with that so you are kind of exigent yes. okay think, yes. okay very good and um, tell me um, what would be a time what, when was the time when you when you had problems finishing a task, and what did you do? Quiero quiero tratar de entender si entendí bien la pregunta. Okay, voy a responder con lo que yo entendí. You can ask me if I, I can I can repeat the question if you want. Repeat again, please. Okay. Tell me about a time in the past when you had to finish a task, but you had problems to finish that task. What happened? Okay. When you say a task? An activity in your job. Okay. Okay. In my job, I have a, I work with the with director. It's very easy for me that because the people make the stuff more quickly and many person don't have um, don't have um, seguimientos follow-ups follow -ups and, and I interview and resolve that I don't have uh, many troubles with that because the people know that my job is that it's very easy when my activities is resolved the problem. Okay, so you uh, are very good at solving problems. I think. Very nice. And yeah, actually that was the next question. Tell me about procedures. Do you know how to create procedures for a, for a company? Yes. Actually, my, my place, my place is Analyst administrative commercial. And Fair my enough. activities is relation with all department area commercial. It's very easy for me attend or know what what do um, what do purchase, what do SAC, um, the people sales. The manufacturer, I know that in is is easy for me. I have have a cooperation in in I don't know how do you say ISO yeah, floor. Question de calidad. A quality, okay. Qualification in any that. It's my job. 
Very good, very interesting. Okay, thank you for coming to the interview and of course we will let you know. Perfect, that was a very good, very interesting. So how did you feel, Susanna? How do you feel? It? I understand the question. I, I think the first you asked me the my job actually. And the next I understand that you asked me because it's a interview for a new job. Exactly. I am confused. Okay. Yeah, all, all what we're doing right now is the job interview. So that is it. But it was very good. It was very nice. And you have a lot of experience, so that is very good. I don't believe you. No, actually it was good. I mean, maybe, of course, remember that this is English practice, right? If you are going to go to an interview, of course, it's different because you need to analyze what you're going to say. The people maybe are going to ask you specific questions about the position. So, But here is general and you did a very good job. Perfect, thank you. Okay, let's choose, I guess we have time for two, maybe three more. Let's see. Um, lower this. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you don't want to practice? <laughs> yes. Okay. But I'm not ready. <laughs> Nobody, ready, don't worry. So it's just a practice. Okay. I mean, but the good thing is that once you leave the experience the first time, the next time is going to be easier, of course. Yes. Okay. okay. Let's do it then. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Good morning. So, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the interview. Could you please tell me your name? Yes, of course. My name is Lourdes de Miranda. Thank and you, nice Lord. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Tell me, uh, why would you like to work with this company? I, I would like, uh, I would like to work in this company because uh, I think uh, have a, a good values and good opportunities in this company and for me i is very interesting the the company and i i i would like um grow up in this company very good we like that, that idea and tell me um are you very good at sales Sorry, are you good at sales at selling products? Uh, yes, yes, I I can sell a product. Okay, what happens if I tell you to sell me your cell phone? How do you sell me your cell phone? Okay, um, today you have a good opportunity with my with my cell phone because uh, this cell phone is the is the new in the market uh, have a good characteristic uh, you you use uh, in the water uh, you have a, a, a take a good photos uh, because the camera is professional um, in with with the cell phone you you um, improve your uh, your uh, inform your uh, save the information because have a a build capacity in the ram and uh, it's very fast and only you you uh, should cherish the cell phone uh, because uh, with the cell phone you 
you are the best in the in the Salvador. <laughs> okay, very well. Perfect. So tell me, uh, how are your typing skills? Uh, how fast can you type on the computer? Uh, can you repeat the, the question, please? Of course. How fast can you type on the computer? Uh, I I very fast in the in the type of computer. Uh, in my last work, I I do the I do a lot of uh, reports and the reports present in few hours. Okay, very good. So are you good uh, by creating reports? Yes, yes. Very well, perfect. Okay, Lourdes, it was a pleasure meeting you and of course we will let you know. Thank you. I hope that uh, the opportunity will be mine. Of course, we will do our best to check into that one. Very good, Lourdes. You were nervous, but you did a very good job. So how did you feel? <laughs> uh, I know that the cell phone was not cell. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> I knew more vocabulary for the the cell of the of the of my cell phone. <laughs> I don't convince him. <laughs> no, but it was very good. I mean, you you spoke very well. You described the product, so it was a good a good thing. So it was nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. So let's check one more. I guess we have chance for just one more. Any volunteer that would like to to do it before we finish, or do I choose? Me teacher. Oh, perfect, Nelson. Hello, how are you? Um, fine. Is well, when in the moment I feel under and I have several pains and doesn't let me consider training. Yeah, in the moment I have the uh, incapacity oh, because really? I have yeah. But in in the in the class I I have the the press. Okay, perfect. So you're sick, I guess. Thank you. Perfect. So you would like to give it a try for the interview? Well, and I know prepare, but but in the I have I like the participate. Of course, let's make it then. So, hello. Hello. Good. What's your name? My name is Eric. Nice to meet you. What about your name? Um, my name is Nelson Sanchez. Perfect, thank you. Nice to meet you, Nelson. Tell me about your work experience. Well, in, in my experience in my work is build because I have the, the see the platform in, in the in the video the, and the client in the the television, the the uh, KTV or cable to drive cable cable. cable. Right. Cable and I have a, a, a encargado teacher. Sorry, you are in charge. And the chair in the our platform in the in the in the processor process processor in the video. Uh, um, and they have the client. Perfect. So what you are doing right now is like helping the company for streaming, right? Wow. Well, I understand the, the question. Repeat this. Oh, don't worry. That it was just not. It was not a question. It was just something that I say. So, uh, tell me. Uh, so you are. What is your career? What is your major? Oh, uh, my career. Mm -hmm. Okay, in my career, in, in I have the in the in the graduation graduation the the last let's go in the year in the engineer, but in the in the other other area, in the moment is in, in in transmission in the video, in the area I have the experience in the 
in the LAN network, LAN wire, and I, I have the checked the uh, other uh, uh, servidor, server, and just Service. server, server, and different because in the moment my job is an involucrator in other area in the internet. I watch it and someone the the the, the server, but it's 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 hard because it, 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 the 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 old time is the it, 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 the connection. Yes, because it, it, the area it have a always high problem in the in the client because the I don't have the internet or or I, I don't watch any any channel any time. It, it's our yeah. Perfect. So, uh, do you feel more comfortable working with hardware or software? Um, for me, is is a long network. Is a is a, is a principle. That's because just special. It, it, yes, because it, in the in the programmation, I, I know how I, it's hard. So you don't have experience in coding for HTML or anything like that. Uh, in the area, not teacher. In the moment, very good, perfect. And um, are you, if you get this job, are you willing to come to trainings on Saturdays and Sundays? And no, because you see, you see, in the in the schedule, the my time, the the, the work is uh, all 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 weekend. Uh, and for example, in the in the in the in this in this week is I have the the tour tour in the in, in the all weekend in the next weekend and in, in the finish in the next weekend is my my com my company I see. My, my parents yeah yes it's difficult in it, the it, it schedule the time and which days do you rest during the week and when when when, when i have the in the day free i i, I like the 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 red the the in the practice a, a, any any team in the I I have the the learn in the in the in the university because it, 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 when 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 no practice it's not remember it's a it's a forget it is a connection. Okay, yeah, it's important to practice. And but which day of the week do you rest? I mean, do you you which day of the week you don't go to your work? where i don't stand in, in a specific detail okay so you say that you work on saturdays and sundays so if you work on saturdays and sundays which other days you stay at home oh yes uh, uh, yes but is in, in in the weekend i have the any day any day yes oh, okay. the rest yes but it's 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 hard in the schedule okay yeah. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And of course, we will let you know. Thank you. Okay, thank you for the opportunity, okay. teacher. Nice. How did you feel it? Thank you. Good. Okay, perfect. Okay, my friends, this was a little practice that I was planning for today because, you know, sometimes it's very important to practice and it's not the same. I mean, it's a good idea for you to practice in the mirror, right? but it's different when you practice with somebody else. So um, we're going to try to do some other activities like that. Sometimes it's difficult because we need to finish the book and do many activities, but whenever we have the time, we're going to continue like that. Any questions, anything uh, before we finish the class? Not teacher. Okay, perfect. So, um, the one one for today is for Wendy. And uh, we're going to check the attendance, of course. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present, teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. Good. 
Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baire Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night, present. Good night. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Present. Good. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Perfect. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you today. I hope you have a very good night. Rest very well. See you tomorrow and dream in English. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Good night, teacher. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, hello, Wendy. Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, fine, teacher. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so this is the one one, and of course I know that you have experience on this one. So the first question I have for you is, how do you feel that you are moving on with the classes? Do you feel that you are learning, that you are getting something? Uh, well, uh, right now is, for me, it's different the class because uh, af, af, after, no. Before? Before uh, this model, uh, the methodolo methodology is no, uh -huh. not, it's different. Uh -huh. It's different, but uh, because the, the before uh, we uh, go to the breaker rooms and, and practice with other other partner, but uh, right right now we I can uh, I don't know how do you say agudizar teacher sharpness sharpness my my earring my mm -hmm. and I I learn more because I can. I can uh, differently the words and I I learning more the pronunciation and uh, and I think in English right now okay. nice. I I I I, uh, I say. Uh, I obligated me <laughs> that thing in English, only English, not, not translate. Yeah, and uh, in, in resume, uh, I like the class. I like the class. I, I try my, my, my vocabulary is, is not uh, long, no, big. It's not okay. big, but I try. I try. I understand very well, but my 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 vocabulary is short. But I try, teacher. I try um, answer, and I try not translate. Uh, but yeah, uh, yeah, uh, understand. And in in English only that. 
Very good. That's very nice. I'm very happy, of course. I was checking and your, your English is very good. I mean, for the level that we are right now, uh, you speak very fluent. Uh, I know that sometimes there are some words, but the good thing is that you ask. So that is a, another good thing that if you are not sure, you ask questions. Maybe and, I, I sorry, teacher. So maybe I have a problem with the times, for example, past, future, uh, uh, and the grammatical rules. Maybe is is my is my defect because the grammat grammatic grammatical is is difficult for me. But um, I don't know why, but I understand more right now. Okay. Um, is yeah, but your, your English level is nice. I have seen, I have noticed that you are very good. Maybe the problem is that we are a lot of people and it's not possible to speak more, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and we need to finish the book and many other things. But you you speak very nice, very nice. If you continue, of course, you are going to you are going to have a very fluent and nice English and your accent is also very good. So that's nice. And um, so do you have any question, anything that, that you have a doubt? Well, uh, for example, the the before topic, I sincere, sincerely, I know it's correct, sincerely, sincerely, sincerely uh -huh. uh, I don't understand because I I was no, estuve teacher. I was. I was uh, sick, very sick, because I I I had. I I have a padesco teacher. Um, oh, so you're sick. You have a uh, yeah, because I the migraine. Oh, I see. Yes, migraine very very strong, and I I was very sick, and the topic the the before topic don't understand. Uh, it's confused for me. And, but I try, I, learn, I um, check the, the manual and I don't know, it don't, maybe don't have a more time, but uh, when you can uh, com compare, compare. Uh, compare with me the web page or exercise, but I, I I appreciate you. You can uh, compare it with me for uh, understand more, more well the the, the before topic. Of course, the, yeah. I want, I want to say uh, the my neighbor say me. <laughs> you <Yeah. laughs> <Come on. laughs> it's, it's, yeah. it's confused for me. No, I know it's confused. I mean, the topic is not easy. And the problem is that we didn't have time to practice more. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to send to the group some links for you to practice more so you understand a little bit better. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, Wendy, it was a pleasure to be with you. Uh, someday I'm going to go to your business and eat tacos, of course. And uh, well, see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and uh, practice a little bit more if you want or if you can. Okay, teacher, very thanks because uh, I appreciate you, you, your work and you have a very, very good job and very good uh, because I don't know why, but I, I, right now, I think the, the learn much with you. Okay, perfect. I'm very happy about that one. Okay, teacher. Have good a good night. night.